Hey guys, how are you? I want a tuxedo for you guys today. I need that thing. Is this thing easy to use? Yes, sir. At sixteen hundred. Do you know how to use this thing? Okay, we're not sure, sir, but we're trying. I'll figure it out. This 3-axis gimbal thing, can I put an ADD on this thing? Okay, so hey, you've been on my YouTube channel? <laughs> what are your guys' names? Lonnie! Yvonne! That's Kathleen. Kathleen! Oh, she's shy. <laughs> Macy's camera shop. They're good people. And they have everything, man. They got so much shit in here. I feel like I'm in a warehouse. So this is all set, right? Just yes, plug sir. it in and... How do you turn it off? Take the batteries uh -huh. out? Just okay. take the batteries out. No, no, I don't want to do that. That's bullshit. Okay. Oh, I unplug it or what? You really have to take the battery out. I don't think you have to take the batteries out to turn it off. That's like, that's a bullshit thing. Like, that's bad merchandise. Look at that. That should put any light. You can't turn it off, babe. Serious? Yeah. It always stays on? That makes no sense. It doesn't say turn it off. It just says start and stop. How long does the battery last? Is it just gonna die out or is it finally does it fall asleep after a while? That's weird. They forgot to put an off button on this thing. Mother alive, it says three years. I mean, it's the first year they got rid of the They don't have an so off button on this thing. Did you guys make a mistake or what? Like, I don't get it. There should be an off and on switch. But there's not one on here. That's fucking weird. You guys fucked up. Do you have one not made in China? You have to open up the battery to stop it. Whoever made this, you guys are fucking idiots. God damn, well it's not that much money. Do you have another one, a better one? No. No? I'm a little irritated right now. Fucking morons, man. People are so fucking stupid, it blows my mind. Am I right or what? Like, it should have an off button, right? I swear, they forgot <laughs> to put it on. Who, who forgets to do that when you manufacture shit? What the f I'll take it. I'm gonna write him a letter. Maybe I'll make a video. I'm already doing that right now. Shit. I always bring my own pen. Because God knows who touches these pens. People scratching their balls out in a parking lot, picking their nose and shit. And then they come in here and write with the fucking pen everybody writes with. You know what grosses me out? I'll tell you this. The guards at malls, they wear those fucking white gloves. They touch everybody with those gloves. Sweaty people, people dirty, and they, they rub your back like that. <laughs> so I go like this, what I do, I go, don't touch me. I don't like being touched. And they still try to touch me sometimes. Like I said, don't fucking touch me. And I go, you know. <laughs> Salama Kaayo. Thank you, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. Thank you, sir. Balik, balik. Come again? Yes. <laughs> I had to learn Sabuano so I don't get nosebleed. Thank you, sir. Would you swim that day? Hell yeah. Oh, no. Hell no. I would never do that <laughs> shit, man. Maybe I'll try everything video. once. Look. I don't think it will. I touched the jellyfish here in the water. They were like, oh, it won't sting you. And I picked it up. I got a picture. It's on Instagram. Yeah, I think I saw it with your... I know. Dude, <laughs> you guys know my ex? Like, you remember I used to come in with a girl? Yes, she remember. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yeah, she tried filing a case. She cheated on me with a guy who does pornography. Oh, she went to the other store. Oh, really? With, uh, with their oh, he's my friend now. And they're, he, he asked for help. She put him in jail. Yeah, that's why he told us. And I said, dude, I, I I wanted to warn you about her, but I was like, you know, she cheated on me with him, but it's not his fault. She's responsible for yeah. 
yeah. a relationship, yeah. right? Like, yeah. and then she now has all these people that she owes money to. People are filing, people are filing cases, and she's out. She left the country. Oh, she's the neighbor of their workmates, babe. She left the country though. She's not in that. She's in Norway right now. Like she owes two hundred thousand to the yeah. one place she rented out. She owes so much money to people all over. She's in she's in deep shit right now. She she was committing fraud. Yeah, she, she got a car, a car in a false name. So yeah, man, she's in big trouble. I don't know what when she filed a case on me. I'm like. <laughs> I started investigating. I got tabs on her. I had people following her. I know everything about her. And she is in so much shit. Like, you know, she's Buwang, man. Be down. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to take my girl on a special date tonight after my haircut. And then some time lapse. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one, man. Good to see you. Roger right here is the shit. If you guys come to Cebu and you need to get your hair did, this is the man right here, Roger. They have a bunch of locations around, and I'm currently in a parking garage at Ayala. Basement one, Roger. Basement one, tough barbershop. Roger, tough barbershop. Basement one, Ayala. Roger, Ayala. Get my hair did. bad service. I came in here, I drank a beer, I got a shave, a haircut, and now I'm getting massaged. Only now I wish Roger was a female in a bikini. There's nothing like a good haircut. Now I don't look homeless anymore. So they play groovy music in here. It's kind of like house music and thug music. It's like gangster rap, but it's kind of got this chill vibe to it. I like it. You don't go, Roger. I shouldn't do this, but look how beautiful my girl is. Not to be a show off, but Jesus, woman, you should be illegal. <laughs> Hi, como esta? You can keep that. Mild to be. I don't need that thing. my new toy I just bought today and the battery was going dead. I just bought the battery today. So now I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way with video. But I was really excited to do this other thing, but it didn't work. Right here, it's mango. 
This is where all the pickpocketers are, troublemakers, drug dealers. Foreigners come here, they're called sex packs. They come here to get laid by beautiful young women. That area is a bunch of hookers, and there are some women that are beautiful. They're packing heat downstairs, and you'd be shocked how good they look. You're like, oh my god, and they're actually a man. That blows my mind. There are street kids, people living on the street, people living hard. This is kind of a rough area. It really is, and it's a bit dangerous. When I tell people to come visit here, you go to Mango, you don't stay in Mango. You visit Mango. Always keep your head on a swivel and watch your back because people are looking to rob you here. There are pickpocketers, there's people causing trouble around here because this is where the tourists come to party. Partying here is very cheap for 60 bucks. You can get bottle service in the premium nightclub. You get bodyguards, everything. You'll get taken care of for like 50, 60 bucks. Are you excited to eat a salad? Yeah, I'm excited for this. Salama, bro. Alright, let's eat. Um, no. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's good. Put some soy sauce. You enjoying your dinner, babe? you need to subscribe subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching hope you're doing well much love peace out